Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk to you about Java key stores, and in particular, the JCEKS key store. So if you've seen the first video in this series about the JKS key store, which is the very first key store that Java had, you'll know that it's uh, not secure and it doesn't contain strong cryptography. Everything is built out of SHA-1 hash functions. The JCEKS key store was introduced initially in Java in the JCE, so the Java Cryptographic Extension, the packet of uh, code inside Java that does contain strong cryptography uh, that was at the time subject to, to export restrictions, but is now uh, a standard part of Java. Uh, and since 1.4, it is packaged with Java uh, all the time. So the JCE KS is a key store with real cryptography in it. We might expect it to be a little bit more uh, robust. Uh, so let's look a little bit more into how it works. So remember, a key store is just a file, uh, a way of serializing cryptographic keys that we're going to write into a file and put on some storage, a disk somewhere, whatever it is that our application can get to uh, to do its work. And it's going to contain some public key certificates and maybe some private keys uh, as well. Uh, and so the JCKS, just like all the key stores, it works by deriving an encryption key from a password or some kind of credential. Uh, and that's the credential that's used to decrypt the private keys. Uh, the public keys are in the clear and there's an integrity check over the whole of the store uh, to make sure that no one's changed the, the public key certificates around. So how does that work inside JCEKS? Well, the original way that JCEKS worked was that it would take a password and derive a key from that using the hash function MD5. And it would apply the hash function MD5 20 times to the password to derive this key. So uh, that's not considered a very secure construction uh, by any means. So MD5 can be executed really, really fast now in, in optimized uh, implementations. Uh, and 20 iterations is, is a very low number. If you're looking at password-based key derivation recommendations, uh, the NIST recommendation uh, that applies right now is for a, a minimum of uh, 10,000 iterations. Uh, and really, it suggests that you should go as far as you can without slowing down your, your server performance. Uh, so 20 MD5 really uh, doesn't cut it, and it can be it allows password guessing attacks to work really, really fast on those key stores. Uh, so at the end of 2017, uh, Oracle made an update to Java, which meant that by default, the JCE KS key store now uses 200,000 iterations of, of MD5 to derive it keys. So, so that's a lot more. Um, but the underlying cipher that's used after that key has been derived to actually encrypt the key material uh, is triple DES or three DES, uh, which is not considered a very strong uh, encryption cipher. So we've got a whole uh, series of uh, uh, videos and blog posts around that, uh, the history of three DES, but three DES is deprecated now by NIST and, and shouldn't be being used. So you don't really want to be using JCEKS now, certainly not for any new projects. Uh, and indeed, it's not the, the recommended uh, key store to use uh, by Oracle anymore. Uh, but there's actually an even worse problem with JCEKS, and that is that it uses the same integrity check mechanism that the very old key store, the JKS key store, uses. So that old mechanism is based around the SHA-1 hash function. And essentially what you do is you SHA-1 hash the password and then SHA-1 hash the whole of the key store and, and, and iteratively hash that and see what is the final uh, digest that you get. Uh, so that means it's very uh, fast to make a guess at a password. You just need to do the SHA-1 hash of the password and, and, and work your way down the key store. Probably the key store is not going to be that big, so it's not that many hash functions. Very quickly you can see whether your, your guess is right or not. So that means that you can very quickly uh, guess the integrity password, which means you could manipulate those public keys uh, maybe and then cr create your own um, uh, integrity password, integrity hash using the, the correct password, which would then be swallowed up by the application and it might believe uh, the wrong certificate. But it can be even worse than that because in practice, it turns out that almost all software expects to use the same password for encrypting the private keys as for checking the integrity of the whole uh, store. There's a lot of software that would break if you create a key store that has uh, different passwords. So uh, in fact, if you want to guess the encryption password, rather than doing 200,000 MD5 uh, hashes, which is kind of uh, dull, uh, it's actually much quicker in most cases, unless the key store is absolutely extraordinarily large, just to guess the integrity password and then figure out whether that password is actually the same one, which it probably is for, for the encryption as well. Uh, so JCEKS has got some fundamental uh, weaknesses in it. If, you're, uh, if you've got it in your applications, even though it's not quite as uh, worrying as the JKS key store, 
should be looking at getting away from that to uh, better alternatives and we'll be discussing some more of them in this uh, series or looking to get rid of uh, key stores completely and maybe store those uh, keys in a cloud key store if you're applying to the cloud or something like that. So to find out more about uh, key stores, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get notifications of all of the updates. Otherwise, we'll have some more links to deep dive on this subject in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon here on the channel. Mm -hmm.